spring is almost here. Of course, it is terrible weather outside, but just the fact that I can feel it getting warmer and nicer, whoo, so excited. And one more thing, you're probably getting sick of seeing this black background, because I am too. We probably need a studio, but... Ooh. Crazy winter rents, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about something very, very important, which I failed to kind of understand when I started out, and every single time I was looking at the 1080p footage, 120 frames per second, I was like, man, it just doesn't look sharp. Like, what am I doing wrong? So after a bunch of research, these are the five things we recommend you to do to get your 1080p footage as sharp as possible. First way how to make sure it's sharp right out of the camera is just increase your sharpness. You know, usually when you're filming 4K, you decrease the sharpness to minus six or minus seven, the details, right? But when you're using 1080p, we would strongly recommend you to dial it back up to minus one or zero. That's gonna give you a lot more sharpness than minus seven, trust me. The second thing is make sure that the background is blurry. Now, here's the thing. If you're filming 60 frames per second, yeah, you can get these wide shots and everything in focus, uh, F, I don't know, five to seven, it's gonna be okay. But once you go 120 frames per second, the compression is gonna be <laughs> real. So what I would recommend you to do is just get some primes, 1.4, 1.8 aperture. It's gonna look so much better because you're not gonna see all that artifacting in the background and the foreground subject is just gonna be so sharp and so crisp. And once you add a little bit of post sharpening, ooh, it's gonna look so juicy. The third thing is, well, it's pretty obvious, you know, nailing the exposure. If you're shooting with S-Log2, nailing the exposure is kinda uh, tricky. Use your histogram, practice nailing the exposure because the more perfect the exposure will be, the sharper your footage will look. It's as simple as that. The fourth thing is, I think some people are gonna be pissed off at this, but use the goddamn manual focus, dude. The autofocus is amazing on the Sony, but on 120 frames per second, it's just... It feels like it's never spot on. It feels like it's haunting all the time. And the last thing is proper post-production. Here's a thing what a lot of people do. So they get the footage, they import it in Premiere, and they just drop a lot on there, you know, like M31, and they expect it to suddenly be like super sharp and super detailed. That's not how it works. First, you have to color correct the footage, which means adjusting the shadows, midtones, highlights, saturation, contrast, and only after that you color grade your footage, which is, well, basically, you can drop a lot. And don't forget to always like sharpen it in post production. Maybe not the 4K footage, but definitely 120 frames per second. So, yeah, these were the main five tips we use in order to get our 1080p footage look super sharp and crisp. If you have any questions regarding the Sony Alpha 6500, or maybe you want some bonus tips, I don't know, just leave a comment in the comment section below and you know the drill. Peace out.